I'm going to show you guys how to set up Claude Code with GLM 4.6. This is a $3 a month budget coder with the $3 a month coding plan from Z.AI. I'm going to leave a link to Z.AI in the description. They've actually kindly agreed to be a sponsor of the channel. I reached out to them. I don't really take sponsors, guys, but if I'm already using a product and someone reaches out to me, I will kind of talk to them, and Z.AI did actually agree to sponsor me. I don't know if this video specifically is sponsored or not, but I'm gonna just going to start using their link anyway because I have to say I really, really like their coder. In fact, I like their coder so much that I actually added content to that effect to my school community. This is basically a seal of approval from me. As soon as it's in the school, it means that I really, really do believe in the product. If you want to join the school, by the way, it'll be one of the first things in the description. If you just need a bit more help with Vibe coding or you're just failing to understand some of these concepts, then this school community may help you. Now, first things first, you do need a Z.AI account again you can use my link if you want if you do loot if you do use my link you're showing them that i am a good channel for them to continue sponsoring so please feel free to actually use it guys you don't have to i'm not bothered um but if you do use it you'll be helping me out so this kind of deal that they've got is pretty mental if you pay for a year you can lock in a price of you know 60 bucks a month no sorry math and name math Math ain't mathin. I mean, this is ludicrously cheap. It's so, so cheap. And you get, I, I think if you pay them for a year, you will most likely just get huge amounts of access for the entire year. That's kind of, I think, what they're going for right now. Now, once you've got this plan, you can just go on Google and type Z.AI Claude Code and go to this page right here and then press copy. So it says GLM coding plan designed for Claude Code users starting at $3 a month to enjoy a premium coding experience with Claude Code inside or Z.AI inside Claude Code. That's really, really cool. Now, what is this? Vision understanding. Oh, a 404. Tut, tut, tut. Okay, I'm going to press copy page right here and I'm going to go over to my terminal and I'm going to do uh, MKD ZAI Claude and then CD ZAI Claude and then write Claude. Yes, proceed. Then I'm going to say, help me set up Claude code with Z.I using this info. So the way this looks like it works is you install Claude code and then you config GLM coding plan. So we need our API key, fairly easy to get. So let's just grab our API key. Okay, so I just restarted my terminal and we'll do Claude. So we'll just write Claude here. And then if we do slash status, it says that it's using anthropic base URL API.z.ai. Okay, so this should be GLM. So the cool thing about this setup is if you wanted to, now I'm not saying you should do this, but if you wanted to, you could change, for example, one of these models so that you're using sonnet and glm so sonnet to plan and glm to code for example a lot of people are telling me to check this out i will try this out at a later date but basically you can map your model so your opus model glm 4.6 and then you could for example set sonnet model to sonnet and then haiku to glm air for example so it will still say that you know the model is this that and the other but if you do slash status and it says anthropic base URL and it's not anthropic, then you know that it's set up properly. So now we basically, we effectively have the, what I, in my opinion, is one of the best coding models inside one of the best AI coding assistants, Claude Code. So GLM being the coding model and Claude Code being the coder. Now, just because I'm curious, I want to test something because I have actually tested Z.AI inside Claude Code before, but I used Open Router. So what I want to know is how does this perform when instead of using Open Router, we use Claude Code? 
Oh, sorry, not core code. Z.ai's coding plan. So I'm just going to let this run, guys. Like I said, this should be using GLM 4.6. I can't actually confirm that because you can't look at usage on GLM. But yeah, we'll just let this run and we'll see how it goes. Now, I'm also just going to test something else, which is subagents real quick. I haven't used subagents in Claude 2.0 yet. This isn't the official agent thing or subagent thing, but it's just a way to speed things up within this context window. I don't think each of these has a different context, but I'm not actually sure. I'm going to let this run. Normally, I wouldn't do this because it can mess things up, but I just want to see how GLM 4.6 deals with this, and also then I can show you guys as well. Okay, so eventually I did get it to work. There was some problems with this build. I don't want to lie to you guys. I did have to use Claude code in the end to fix it. However, if you can get things done with a $20 plan plus a $3 plan, then things start to get interesting. Now it looks like there are still some errors around here, but this does look very, very good, I have to say. Um, looks like not all of the buttons work. Looks like there is, there are some technical issues with this build that just weren't there when I did the exact same build using Kilo code. So that's definitely interesting to me. Now, how do I rate this? I rate this pretty highly. I'm not going to lie, guys. I think this looks really, really good. I think it kind of sucks that it can't really do things completely perfectly and you do need to jump onto Claude code. Um... I'm using the Visual Studio Code extension, as you can see, but I mean, it does fix things pretty quickly, to be frank. And yeah, let's just see how it fixes things. But overall, the actual look and feel of the website, I do really, really like, um, which is quite common with GLM 4.6. I've found the technical build is decent, um, definitely could be better. There, yeah, there's definitely some problems here. Okay, so I mean, the most interesting takeaway from this, guys, honestly, is that Claude Code did a worse job than Kilo Code with the exact same model, both using Z.ai, both using the coding plan specifically, specifically. And I do think that's incredibly interesting. Now, in terms of budget coding, GLM 4.6, in my opinion, is unmatched. There is nothing even close to GLM 4.6. If you're looking for a model that is under five bucks for one million output tokens, there is literally no alternative. Maybe, maybe, maybe Quen Max Coder Pro or whatever it's called. Whatever, what's it called? Okay, open router. This model here, I actually, I don't, I'm not sure of the cost. Actually. Yeah, it's this one here. So this is just on the five bucks mark. Wait, I might be dying on old school RuneScape. Sorry, guys. This is right on the five dollar mark. So Gwen 3 Coder Plus versus GLM 4.6. I would say GLM 4.6 takes the cake. It's better and also it's cheaper. So, I mean, in terms of a good, cheap model, GLM 4.6 is by far the best. Okay. So yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, Z.ai have kindly agreed to actually pay me money for constantly talking about them, which is really, really nice. So shout out to them. Definitely check out their coding plan, guys. It's ludicrously cheap. And if you do decide to, please use my link so that we can show them that this channel is worth continuing sponsoring in the future. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend, and I will see you extremely soon with some more content. Peace out.